Hi, my name is Gabe Manis. I'm an assistant professor of medicine uh, in the uh, division of hematology at Stanford University. And uh, this year um, I presented work uh, looking at a novel uh, oral version of the hypomethylating agent decitabine in combination with the oral BCL2 inhibitor venetoclax. So uh, for the past three years or so, the new standard of care for treating uh, older, less fit patients with acute myeloid leukemia has been the combination of, uh, of venetoclax, which is a pill, in combination with either decitabine or azacitidine, which are given intravenously or as subcutaneous injections, injections under the skin. Um, this study really is the first trial of an all oral regimen, meaning everything by mouth, uh, to treat newly diagnosed older AML patients. And so this is a phase one study, meaning it's the first time that this has been studied in, in humans. Each of the two drugs, the, the venetoclax and the oral decitabine, are both FDA approved drugs, but they have never been studied in combination. And so um, uh, this is an exciting study for patients in that I think it has the potential um, to really shift the way that we treat acute myeloid leukemia in, in older adults. Um, as it is now, um, this is a treatment that's given every month as long as it's working. And so patients come into the cancer center, the infusion center, for five to seven days in a row every month to get their IV infusions or their subcutaneous injections. And so if we were able to change those IV treatments to pill treatments, it would really, I think, improve the quality of life for patients with, with AML. So in this phase one study, we report the findings of the first 25 patients enrolled. And uh, the primary objective of the study, as in all phase one studies, is to make sure that the, the combination is safe and that there aren't any side effects that would be unexpected relative to the IV version. And so um, first and foremost, I think um, we found that uh, there are really no side effects that are, uh, that are different or unexpected relative to the IV version. And so that's um, the most important part of the phase one. As a secondary objective, we wanted to see, um, is it as effective as the IV version? And of uh, 20 patients who were, who were valuable for response, we saw complete remissions in two thirds of patients, which is very similar to um, what we saw in the large randomized study looking at the IV version of azacitidine in combination with, with venetoclax. So, um, the bottom line is that in the phase one study, it appears that the all oral combination of, uh, of oral decitabine with venetoclax is safe and well tolerated. And in a preliminary look, it seems to be just as effective as the IV version. And so as a result of this study, we have recently launched the phase two portion of this study where we will enroll another 100 patients uh, uh, all across the world. It'll expand from the seven sites where we did the phase one to many, many sites throughout both the United States and, and Europe. Um, and based on that study, if it continues to look uh, safe and effective, we hope that this combination will be approved uh, by the FDA and become the new standard of care for treating older adults with acute myeloid leukemia.